Okay. Last chance. Last chance to guess. What is in the box? What's in here? What is it? People. It's a puck. <laughs> There's a puck here. Um, how's it going? I haven't done a video in this format in a long time. What I mean by that is I used to get stuff, like I'd order something or buy something, and I'd just open it up, do a first impressions, and that's what this is. This is a first impressions video of a new guitar day. So you don't know what's in here. I don't know what's in here. I know what's in here. What, I'm, what I mean is, don't know what I mean. No script. That's the, the difference. Okay, let's open it up. We're, we're gonna check out this new guitar that I bought. It's a new one. And uh, ordered it from a store called. Uh, God, the name is the name is um, slipping my mind. If you were like, use a real knife. The reason I use this the string gauge tool is because it doesn't get used very much, so might as well use it for something. Okay, so the store I'm gonna put it on screen. New Market, Ontario. The Arts Music Store, I think. It's one of the only places I could find this in stock. Everywhere else is like back ordered or just out of stock. Um, of course, I know they're back ordered. So, see how it is. It's, uh, I saw it. I saw it in person when I was at Sweetwater. And uh, it's one I wanted to check out. So, uh, uh, it's just a box. Mm -hmm. Nothing else inside, just a fender box with nothing else inside. First, first giveaway, Squire, it says Squire on it, so it's a Squire guitar. What is it? Leave a comment, pause the video right now, can you tell what it is yet? Oh, did it? You already see it through the bottom there. Okay, let's just put it through the bottom. Here. Should have cut the, cut the damn tape. This is taking so long because I haven't done this in a long time. Don't even know how to do an unboxing video anymore. All right, there we go. Right. Now we now we got it here. In case you didn't know, Jazz Master. And once I show the headstock, then it's all revealed. Come on, get off. 12 string Squire Jazzmaster from the Pyramidal series. Oh, you can really see the difference in the blue. That's a sa that's a oh, what do they call that? Sapphire Sparkle something. These names. They're just names. You can see the difference. Lake Placid Blue. So yeah, this is part of the uh, the recent Squire Paranormal series. And uh, I had another one. I've actually sold that one. I had the Stratasonic. The one that had the crazy the cr crazy bridge from Epiphone was on it. So, anyways, I sold that. Oh, that's really unique looking. That's pretty cool looking. Let me get a close up on that. Um, the bridge. I didn't realize it looked like that. That's pretty cool. Bridge to nowhere. So, um, let me just get first impressions on it. Maybe uh, plug it in for a second, but. This isn't going to be my deep dive demo. Ooh, weird. Wow, I'm noticing a few things. It's, is that an angle of headstock or is it in my imagination? So the joke is, when he awoke, his body was covered in coke fizz. That's a Canadian joke. Um, the, it looks like a hockey stick, okay? I'm going to somehow incorporate that into the full deep dive video. I'll make this into a hockey stick and it's going to score this fender goal somehow. I don't know how, but I will do that. <laughs> Let me uh, plug it in. Since it's a blue, uh, a blue guitar, let's plug it into a blue amp. So plug it, plug it into this Princeton over here. Mm hmm. I used to have a blue Jazzmaster. It was an American Pro Jazzmaster with a, had a rosewood 
Rosewood uh, neck. Where did I get that one? Oh, that was from, yeah, that was a few years ago, LA Music in Toronto. I don't have that one anymore. Okay. So this is going to be interesting. What's going to be really interesting is if this mic is working on, on my, uh, on my, on me. This is my second 12 string ever. I'm not fast forwarding this part. You're going to sit with me and you're going to suffer through the tuning of a 12 string. I'm going to restring it live now. No, I'm just joking. Uh, it's off a little bit, but. If it's all off, then it's all good. Never tried a 12 string electric. That's, that's what I was trying to say before. Um, I have a 12 string to Dario. Diodario? Diodario. Diodario. Am I doing the wrong one? No. G. B. B. Every adult, every adult dog growls, barks, eats. What do you say for that? Okay, I gotta stop for a second. Uh, I did hold this and try it at Fender, Fender's booth at Gear Fest at Sweetwater. And I remember trying it. I'm actually gonna get a thinner pick because it's, uh, it's, it's different. It feels really different. It feels really different with 12, 12 strings on an electric. And I remember saying to the Fender guy, I said, uh, Gibson's the best. No, I didn't say that. I said, <laughs> When I picked it up, I was like, this feels really weird. Feels like I've never played guitar before. And I actually told them too, I'm like, you know, you know about the Stratasonic? It has the Epiphone bridge on it. And they're like, what? You're, you lie. You live in a box of lies. It sounds like I have chorus on. strange. This is really strange. Let's take a look through the pickups. Really, really interesting. Really interesting. This is very interesting. Best way to describe it, uh, my hands just feel really full of strings. I wonder why, but man, that headstock is, is nasty. It's like, why, why, why'd they have to do the little Smurf hat thing, right? I don't have any reverb on, let's try that.
That's really different. That's really different. Uh, okay, that's some uh, quick tone test. Anyways, it works. It's all working. It made it through the voyage. I'm seeing a slight angle on the headstock, though. Do you see that? I don't know if it's just me. Looks like it's like tilted a bit forward. It's got a cool uh, string guide thing here that holds like 10 of the strings or more. The nut is nuts with all the slots on it. Um, frets are nice. It's got the it's got the classic vibe, or I guess the paranormal neck. Basically, it feel they all feel the same. They're glossy. Um, looks nice. Looks nice. Everything looks good. In the deep dive, what I'll do is uh, I'll play hockey with it. See if I can score any goals. Oh man, that looks weird. That, look, that just looks so weird, right? So many, so many tuners. Um, damn. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So I bought this. I mentioned that. Full price, didn't get a deal or anything. I uh, just wanted to check it out. It's one that was on my list since I saw it, and I wanted to get the blue, so I got the blue. And uh, what else can I say about it? Yeah, in the deep dive, we'll check it out. We'll go inside it. Um, I'll play it through more more pedals and maybe through a Vox amp because uh, a Vox with a 12 string, that should sound cool. I think that'll be pretty cool, so. Um, if you have any questions, $10 each. No, I'm just kidding. Look at this guy, where is it? D'Angelico, D'Angelico, it's D'Angelico, by the way. Where's a D'Angelico shirt for, for a Fender video? That's what you do, though. Sometimes it's what you got to do. You just do that, you know. All right, uh, we're gonna wrap it up. Yeah, so I got a bunch of other videos coming out. If you haven't, um, if you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, you can like the video and you can share it. And you can, what else can you do? You can fax. Fax it to your grandparents, you know, Morse code it to uh, your relatives. And uh, I'm, this is why I do a script, but not this time. Not this time. Which camera are we on? One, two, camera one, camera two, camera one, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's it. All right. Uh, as always, play guitar and have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. This is the part where I pretend to turn off the camera, but I just keep playing. And uh, I hope nobody's still watching and then I just like do some weird <laughs>